When we talk about equilibria of dynamical systems, one of the next things we care about is the stability of the equilibria. If I have a dynamical system, y n plus 1 equals g of y sub n, and I tell you y sub n equals the number e is an equilibrium, then what happens if I set y not the initial condition equal to the equilibrium? Well, this implies that y sub n will stay equal to e for all future time, for all time points n. This is true for all equilibria. It's the definition of equilibria. The idea of stability is what happens if you start not exactly on the equilibrium, but nearby. So what happens if y not is close to e, but is not exactly equal to e? If the equilibrium is stable, then the state variable yn will stay close to e, or even approach e. It might even get closer. If the equilibrium is unstable, then the solution will move away from the equilibrium. At some later point, we can talk about more precisely how to determine if an equilibrium is stable or unstable. For now, let's just use cobwebbing to explore the idea of stability. Let's use the example function g of y equals one and a half y times one minus y, for which you can calculate that the two equilibria are e equals zero and e equals one third. We'll use the applet that combines cobwebbing on the left with the plot of the solution on the right. We've already entered our function in terms of the variable x, because that's what the applet needs. We can immediately pick out the two equilibria, which are the points where the diagonal line intersects the graph of the function. There's one equilibria down here at zero, and another one up here at one third. We know if we start exactly at an equilibrium what will happen. So if we start at x equals zero, and we iterate, we will stay right at x equals zero forever. Similarly, if we start at the equilibrium one-third, we'll stay at the equilibrium forever. But the question of stability of the equilibria is what happens if we start just above or below an equilibrium? So let's start just above one-third and see what happens when we iterate the function. We can see that the solution goes back to the equilibrium. It asymptotes back at one-third. If we start just below one-third, again, the solution goes back to the equilibrium at one-third. Hence, we can see that the equilibrium at one-third is stable. Now, what will happen if we start very close to the other equilibrium, zero? In this case, when we iterate the function, we see that the solution moves away from the equilibrium, zero. And if we start just below the equilibrium, we move away from it down to negative values. No matter how close we start to the equilibrium at zero, we'll move away. Unless, of course, we start exactly at the equilibrium. This means that the equilibrium zero is unstable. This dynamical system has two equilibria, 
the equilibrium at zero is unstable and the equilibrium at one third is stable.